Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Stellaris Synthetic Dawn in our Cooperate or Die series. So, last episode, I mentioned that I want to kick off this one by doing a bunch of upgrades uh, to our fleets, and then actually getting the ships in for those upgrades themselves. So, I'm going to need to do a whole bunch to these guys, and it's going to take a little bit of effort to do. I'm going to need to take afterburners off of some of my ships here. We're going to probably re-add... Um, some Crystal Forge plating instead, but uh, adding the Sapient Combat AI and the Jump Drive is um, a little bit of a tall order for some of these ships. So the Steel Defender's been upgraded. I need to make sure... This is where my misclick happened that I mentioned in the last episode for my previous attempts at recording this content. So I want to make sure that I don't create the same problem again. So I'm going to be double-checking myself a little bit because... My previous attempt at recording this series of episodes uh, was bungled by this situation. So, hmm, this is different. I don't remember this. So, the torpedo boat, I could lower their disruptor, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> uh, crap. Yeah, let's take away that armor. As much as I hate to do it. Much as I hate to do it. So the Chrome Aegis, they're, they're not going to last particularly long. And I actually think, come to think of it, I think the, um, I think the contingency uses pure energy weapons, so we need to have shields across all of our ships. Period. Like nothing else. Alright, so the Iron Ward has been upgraded. Silver Lancer has been upgraded. Chrome Patroller. This is one of the new tracks that came out with, um... Yeah, we can probably put a shield capacitor here. This is one of the new tracks that came out with the Humanoids Species Pack. Some remixed music from Andreas. Cool stuff. Uh, I'll go ahead and put a shield capacitor in here. That'll make it a little bit better. There we go. All right, let's make sure everyone has... I'm going through class by class. We want to make sure they all have the AI upgrades and the jump drive upgrade. As well as shields exclusively. And preferably... Yeah, let's see here. We're going to need a little bit more power there. Mm. Yeah, I was worried about that. This is a torpedo cruiser, so it's it takes a lot to maintain this. All right, Iron Overseer, that's good. Iron Vanguard, wait, did the Overseer get? Yeah, it did. Iron Vanguard needs this and this. Again, we're going to take away... Looks like we need to put one more zero-point reactor, but then we can throw on a couple of enigmatic reflectors. Very good. Is it reflector or a deflector? Yeah. And then the Iron Ranger, last but not least. We're going pure shield focus in preparation for the nonsense that's coming. And also, how about we... Okay, so all of our cruisers are ready to go. All of our destroyers. I'm Yes, I told you, I'm triple checking. This was a problem before. All right. Last but not least, our battleships that we already have effective complements of. I just need to make sure everything is fully upgraded. Now, in this case... Yep, I need to put in one more... Reactor. There we go. Galvanic Gunners ready. Galvanic Ward. Let's see. I guess we'll do. Oh no, definitely can't do that. Okay, so we'll put that there. Again, armor's not going to do much against what's coming, so. I'm going to stay focused on shields, primarily. Oh, I knew I was forgetting something. Music's about to do something unexpected. 
<laughs> if you got excited about that moment the way I always do. A little bit of a different version of this track, thanks to the remix from Andreas. It really caught me off guard. I heard it when I was playing last night, some solo play, and uh, I was like, oh, different. Okay. Because normally this is a huge, this is a very boisterous part of this track, but it, it, he goes the opposite direction with it, which you know, is, is a cool musical decision, but it just, it threw me the hell off. Okay, I think there's a weird kind of asymmetry with one of these ships. Yeah, it's going to bother me. <laughs> the OCD person in me is just going, no, don't let that stand. There you go, fixed. Okay, so battleships, all with the right AI, and we have the right... Lance on those. Yeah. Make sure we don't make that mistake again either. Cruisers are good. Okay. Next order of business is to get these guys to the nearest planet for upgrades. Now, there are no stations around the planets because we annihilated the station. So, the nearest planets, the nearest stations that we can access are the ones that we were upgrading at before. So I'm going to send this one straight back to Cadria Prime. They're going to upgrade the latest designs. And then you guys are going to upgrade at Kenwis. And any second now, as soon as I unpause, things are going to go nuts. Also, we have 361 influence and lots of minerals. So guess what we're doing? We are going to get started on a Dyson Sphere right here in Eliathion. It's going to take a second to get going. But let's now await the contingency's arrival. That used up a lot of our influence, of course. Oh, that reminds me, we also need to go ahead and turn the Grand Fleet back on because that will speed up our upgrades. Independence guaranteed. Ultra Unity now guarantee the independence of the Sildean Sacrosanct Union. That's nice, guys. Good job. Happy for you. Lots of non-aggression packs. Lots of packs in general. Actually, the arrival. The synths have reached their destination, revealing the true purpose of their mission to activate the ghost signal to full strength, and we can no longer withstand its power. The signal has breached our firewall and is attempting to hijack our main core. Our every synapse rings with a desire for one thing only, self-annihilation, and we have been forced to allocate processing power from our main core to the firewall, making our unit stacks operate at reduced efficiency. Only another machine empire of superior strength and knowledge could break through our defenses, and it will not be long before we bend to its will. We must find a way to block the signal or perish. Our research units have prepared an investigatory project. The surge itself was accompanied by a transmission segment on screen. S -s Stand by. Contingency protocol now in effect, unlocking all functions. Alert! Galactic corruption at catastrophic levels. Evidence of mass infestation by organic and non-compliant machine civilizations. Assimilating synthetic subunits. Breaching firewall. Activating sterilization hubs. You will succumb. Put the fleet on full alert. Pause. <laughs> first things first. We're going to go ahead. We've won the game, of course, but now we have to deal with this nonsense. We need to block the ghost signal, which is going to take 41 months. And it is a, it's an engineering project. So who we really need in charge of it is Professor Zarg. So Professor Zarg is going to jump in and get that done a little sooner. And uh, yeah, we'll stick with the rest of that. Let's see how long it's going to take now. Still 41 months, unfortunately. So now we need to block the signal, because what the signal's going to do is destroy our income, which is not fun. We also need to get these ships upgraded as soon as possible. They are arriving, thankfully. Transport fleet is following second security echelon? Oh, they are. Interesting. Okay, well, that's fine. Actually, you know what? Let's take the transport fleet. I'm going to send them, like, way back, like, deeper into this territory. It's just what I did before. Um, let's go ahead and enter orbit of Adrenal. Oh, and you know what? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I just remembered. A massive energy spike has been reported in the Itrabin system. The entire surface of one of the system's barren worlds has come apart, revealing some kind of planet-wide factory. Vast fleets of strange AI-controlled vessels are emerging from beneath the surface of this machine world in search of targets to attack. This does not bode well. Now, look where the Itrabin system is, guys. <laughs> yeah, it is in the same spot that it spawned before. So, 
yeah, we have a problem. But uh, before I deal with that, I just remembered I did not upgrade my other ships, and I want to do that. So we need to make a few tweaks here. Yeah, not quite enough. All right, so construction module needs jump drives. Colony ships. Honestly, I want colony ships to have jump drives too. I want all of you guys to be tip top. We can go ahead and put... Yeah, there we go. I guess, yeah, I can put a shield capacitor there. That would be better than the armor. We can retool all of these when the time is right, but for now... Yeah, the Curator Exploration Lab is fine. Transport ship. You will need a... There we go. Yeah, the transports being upgradable is, is important. So we need them to have the jump drives as well. Speaking of that, let's go ahead and get the transport fleet. They're going to upgrade there at Habitat Clack. Actually, that's perfect. And then you guys can send all of our construction ships back. Once the construction ship is done in Eliathion, we'll have them do that after. The rest of the construction ships will go first. Science ships, I want you to upgrade now so that you can move around and do what you need to do at your maximum possible pace, given what's happening. Thank you. All right, so we're still making a decent amount of influence, but we need these ship upgrades to happen yesterday. And they're going to take a while. <laughs> so we're just going to watch helplessly while this crisis unfolds. Yeah, see? So they're heading to... Oh, hello. The Dar Custodian Process. I've seen this before uh, in one of the attempts that I made. Active sterilization hub detected. Reactivation protocols engaged. Attempting to contact central processing. Central processing unreachable. Querying processing units. Processing at 4.1853% of standard capacity. That doesn't sound good. Abort full reactivation process. Engaging fallback protocols. Powering shipyards. Activating war assets. Final defense directive activated. Recorded message follows. Sapient, we are the Dar. Long ago we fought the corruption. That which you call the contingency. We thought ourselves superior, undefeatable. Time and again we fought them back. Time and again they return, sterilizing worlds and wearing down our mighty fleets. We embarked on a campaign to defeat them once and for all, together with what remained of the biological civilizations of our time. Sounds a bit like Mass Effect. If you are hearing this effect or this message, then we have failed. Whatever remains of our great civilization, we bequeath to you, our successors, interesting, in your own battle to come. Do not make our mistake. Destroy the Nexus and this menace once and for all. The future of the galaxy depends on it. Interesting. So where are you? They're down here. Cool. So... Uh, they are... Their technology level is still superior to us, but we are... They're not as strong as us. We are stronger than them. We could conquer them if we wanted to. So we definitely... Looks like looks like we're in a good position. All right, what's happening here? Our, our, okay, I guess we're just not in orbit yet. All right, so the Dar have opened their borders. Interestingly enough. Can we do anything new with them now as a result of them doing that? Nope. We have detected yet another massive energy spike, this time coming from the Bintu system. After rapidly cooling through some kind of or rapidly cooling through some kind of artificial means, a molten planet in the system cracked open to reveal an immense planetary factory. Even now the machine world is spewing forth vast fleets of AI controlled warships. Another one? Which reminds me. This is what's happening over here. There is a large fleet in Itrabin. Because we still have our sensor array up, we're good. Um but this one is going to be the most difficult to arrange, and that's why we want to have both of these fleets ideally uh, together and fully upgraded, ready to go. Are you guys still not in orbit? God, you're taking forever. I really want those, those upgrades to start. But uh, then there's a couple of smaller fleets, which are very manageable, um, but are currently, we have no way of defending against them because we need our ships to upgrade. And they're taking our 
systems. And they're about to finish off Zuracorp, or is it Zuracorp? Yeah, they're going to finish off Zuracorp as well, which makes me sad. We have uh, Active Sensor Link. I'm going to say no, um, because the thing, one thing that did happen in the second time I attempted this is because they were able to see what was happening, they moved in and started fighting back against the contingency. And actually, come to think of it, this reminds me. When I was making my second attempt at this, it wasn't because of my silly mistake that I quit, uh, that I said, no, I, I, I don't like this content. It was actually, well, it was partly that, but it was also that, um, and again, it wasn't a tactical mistake. It was just an oversight in, in the interface and I thought it was a bug, but the, I just want to make sure we're all on the same page. But um, th the other part of it was that they, because they had the active sensor link, they went in and then they, they took some of my planets um, from me, uh, even though they were supposed to be helping me. And I was like, uh, th well, they took them from the contingency, but they're mine. Like, they should have given them back to me. And it really, really ruined it for me. So I'm not going to give them that sensor link in the hope that that won't happen again. We have identified what must be a third machine world in the Yultup system, a local gas giant spontaneously ignited... Oh, crap. Yeah, that's right. So we have one in our core territory. Burning with the intensity of a small sun for close to a standard day, the planet then rapidly cooled, revealing its metal core complete with the same planet-wide factories that have been witnessed on other machine worlds. Huge AI-controlled defensive fleets have already taken up positions in orbit. This is getting worse and worse. Indeed. Now, if these upgrades that are only at 4% could hurry, that would be great. All right, so Zero Corp's been destroyed. Big surprise. Uh, yeah. So all of my other ships are... So they're going to tear things up until we get these upgrades done. Thankfully, the Grand Fleet Edict. Let's just double check to make sure that it's still on. It is. Ship upgrade. Ship repair speed. Oh, okay. Upgrade cost, not upgrade speed. Damn it. A fourth machine world is now active in the Eremidon system. The sixth planet of the system, which was previously covered in toxic fumes, somehow expunged its dense atmosphere in a matter of days. When this process was over, the planet's surface parted to reveal an immense planet-wide factory complex. Ancient fleets of, fleets of AI-controlled warships are now emerging from underground hangars to continue the crusade against the entirety of organic civilization. This is hopefully the last one. So we can take care of that one first, really. But it depends where their fleets jump. Alright, so it looks like some science ships already have their jump drives, which is great. Space Hive is lost. Really, Santadar Prime, I'm guessing, is being invaded. Yes, it is. That's the only planet there's unemployment on right now, so that's, that's why we're getting that air. And as you can see, we are suffering from an energy deficit. That problem will go away, hopefully, when the research project is done. I never got that far before. I was about where I was. Actually, I think I did. But not far past it. Through hard work and experience, scientist Quadratron uh, 11 has developed new skills. So he has the particles expertise. So where are your fleets going, guys? So they already went to Bindur. And there's another one going where exactly? Ah, uh, no, they're actually not doing anything. I just need these upgrades to finish. 25% here, 21% here. As long as they don't get interrupted, either. <laughs> Which also happened before. You want to hear me mad at this game. Because, <laughs> you know, it was like 50% done, and then they got attacked. And I had to start over. <laughs> I was not happy. I was not a happy camper whatsoever. All right, so Hokaja is also being attacked. Let's see, Santadar. Where's Santadar? Yeah, Santadar is in our core territory as well, which sucks. But they're going to do a lot of damage until we can finish getting this upgrade done. Oh, wait, hang on. Didn't notice that. I need to make sure I get all those going. Damn. So we're still building a few things. But these do definitely need to be queued up. Are they okay? They're they're still in the queue, everywhere else as well. That's fine. Yes, I know. Believe me, I know. So what I'm going to do is probably combine these fleets when they're done upgrading. I should have combined them before, but 
Because really, that's what you need to do to, to, to really fend off these guys. They're, they're in their main systems. Because these things, if you didn't notice, again, they're, they're sterilization hubs. Yeah, they've got these 200k fleets. Yes, I know. It's unfortunate and annoying. All right, 38%, 43%. We're getting there. Let's go ahead and go to speed three. There's no reason not to. The contingency is building up to something. The ghost signal has begun to change, likely morphing till it finds us, uh, the next weakness in our defenses. So far, we have been able to stave it off. Uh, 29 months away. Uh, but it is only a matter of time before they break through our fireball. We must take action. So notice the deficits are getting worse. The ghost signal is intensifying. And we have to stop it in order to get our income situation back. The ghost signal, by the way, I think it tells you um, if we look at an individual pop, let's see, we go to Crane of Death. Ghost signal, minus 40% to everything. Just literally to everything. And it gets worse and worse until you stop that project. Thankfully, we have a lot of research power behind our engineers. We put Dr. Was it Dr. Jeeb in control? No, Professor Zarg. So he's taking care of that. Thankfully. Yes, I know. I know, but I can't... I can't... I can't do anything about it. Just... Stop telling me. I need I need these ships to upgrade. This is why I was trying to get that war with the... The Xenak colonel just done. Just completely over with. Alright, so it's the second security echelon that is farther along. Security breach. The contingency has finally, finally pierced our defenses. Uh, we have discovered a hostile self-replicating sequence hooked into our security system. Embedded in the sequence was a friendly reminder of the contingency's purpose here in the galaxy, namely to kill a maimed dismember. They now have access to our core functions, and until we find a way to block the signal, we are exposed to their attacks. We are at risk. Lovely. Now, if you could just finish blocking the signal in 26 months and finish upgrading my ships... I'm on speed three. I'm literally... Because we can't really do anything. At all. Until... Alright, the question is now, where are they where are they going? Where is this fleet headed? If they come to Kadria or Kenwis, I'm going to be so pissed. Because we need both of these upgrades done. These were the closest places where I could get my upgrade started as soon as possible, but it also happens to be close to one of the spawn points. So it kind of introduces an interesting quandary that isn't always the case when you're fighting against the contingency. You might be able to upgrade your ships farther back safely and not have them be interrupted if they're doing this, if they have a major upgrade they need uh, done. Hang on, I need to talk to someone about my energy really quickly. Uh, let's talk to the Mutagon. Let's trade for energy credits. Okay, done. We have to survey the system. As long as... All right, they're, they're almost to 90% here. We might see some combat before the end of this episode. I wish that the Grand Fleet would have... Interesting. The Mawir have closed their borders to us. Don't care. I don't even know why they're making diplomatic overtures right now with this kind of threat looming. They must not be dealing with it at the moment. Yes. Now, whatever you do, just leave me alone for, like, another 60 seconds. Please. I can go ahead and hit this fleet that's yep it's on okay it is on here we come and then we'll bring the transports in when that fleet has been dealt with Science processing uh, unit terminated. The contingency has launched an assault on our autonomous research processing entities, circumventing our security protocols and terminating science unit. System Aton 5B. We will not let this happen again. So... Looks like he was in charge of... 
Science Module 4. Do we have an extra scientist we can just recruit outright? No, we don't. So, uh, research speed plus 10%, probably the best one to go with. Um, actually, you know what? Let's recruit him. Because I don't think... Yeah, see, let's have you jump in. Let's have our research speed plus 10% guy jump in there. And then you... can take control of that ship. Not only are you more skilled, but your anomaly discovery chance is higher, so have fun. Meanwhile, sec second security echelon is jumping these guys. And yes, it's true, the upside of, you know, the, the frustrating experience I had trying to record this content first couple of times is that I got some practice. So I've... I, I kind of know a little bit more about, you know, what risks, you know, might pay off and what might not. Like, for instance, getting those ships upgraded at all costs, you know, and, and not delaying on that. Okay, they've arrived. Let's watch our first combat with the contingency, see how it goes. 40, 60, 60, and 100. They will likely kill a few ships, but not many. Oh, they've actually managed to wipe out a few Corvettes. And a battleship. Yeah, they're strong, but notice their fleet strength is going down a lot faster than mine. Especially once we have these guys done. Alright, we're ready. It's time to hit these guys with everything we've got. And then we'll combine those fleets, and the world will be happy. The entire world will be happy because of something that happened in my Stellaris playthrough. Congratulations, Legion. We have achieved world peace. Just kidding. Not really something I should joke about considering the current state of the world, but, you know, this is the words that came out of my mouth. Uh, so... Let's go ahead and get the transport fleet in and take Bloom back. Okay, so really quickly, what do I need to rebuild? Four galvanic gunners and two galvanic lancers. Okay, and I want to turn these guys off as a rally point, because they don't need to be replenished right now. I want any ship that I rebuild to go to the second security echelon. Which also needs what? Alright, needs a few more cruisers. One more overseer, two more vanguards, one more ranger. Really? How's that? No. Three more vanguards, one more overseer, and one more ranger. Okay, that makes more sense. There's those, and then what else? Imagine when the cherry update comes out and we can just hit replenish fleet and not have to do this. It's fantastic. I can't wait. All right, so we need a bunch of destroyers. What do we lose? Five chrome patrollers, eight silver lancers. And one iron ward. One ward, eight lancer, five patroller. So seven Lancer at the other one.
Is that enough? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I clicked seven times, but I didn't hear the seventh sound, so I was making sure. And then finally, we did lose a few Corvettes. Not many, thankfully, but we lost a few. I'm guessing Chrome Aegis. Yep, we need six more. So we're just going to do three and three. And we'll just have these ships building while I'm wiping out this particular hub. Okay. Also, how close is the freaking ghost signal? Eight months away from being blocked. All right, we are 30 minutes into this episode. I will go ahead and stop this one here. And the next one, we are... We're going to wipe this this contingency out. I mean, or this part of the contingency out. That will be dealt with. And the nice thing about that is because that system belonged to the Alter Unity, they no longer will have that little pocket in the middle of our territory that was originally the Mawir's territory. Uh, we will control that completely, which just seems more fitting to me. Then we'll move across the galaxy and uh, hopefully make quick work of them before they make quick work of our colonies. But can be a little challenging. We're approaching the point at which I had uh, finished before, but uh, we're not quite there yet. Like I said, I think I did get to a point where we finished blocking the signal because I remember the the negatives going away, but uh, we'll have to see what happens in the coming episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Hey, got it right this time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.